Hello, me fixing everything. And because there is always something to be fixed, you might need a vacuum pump for something. And I was thinking to use this uh, AC motor, AC compressor from an uh, old unit as a compressor. But actually, I need today a vacuum pump that I can... Uh, it's fairly portable and uh, can't uh, use my vacuum machine, so I need a small one. And we can use this one. And I'll show you how it's wired up so it can, uh, it can run. Now, first we need to remove, unplugged, yeah, there is a cap, usually, that sits right here, yeah, and it says on it blue, yellow and red, uh, it's not making any sense for us because it's not saying what is the sensor, what is the center, the run and the start winding. This here is a protection of some sort, I think it's like a heating protection, could be like a heating sensor, we will leave this one on. So we have these three prongs that come out and we need to measure resistance. We just take a multimeter, just a very cheap one, it will work. And we measure the resistance in between the prongs. I haven't even removed the original wire cables because the little connectors here are special. So we measure the resistance in between the blue, you can see blue, yellow, red. So in between the blue and the red is the highest resistance, 8.5. Between the blue and the yellow one is the lowest resistance, 3.2. And in between the yellow and the red, I'm not going to show you, I already showed, it's 5.8. 5, 5 so the higher resistance, now these two are not connected. These two, the blue and the red, are not connected. It's just measuring the resistance in between here. Can you see? Because the two windings have same common point, so it's one. It's measuring 8.5 in between them. So we're just going to forget this value. And now the higher, the higher uh, resistance is the start winding. The lower resistance in is the run winding. Thank you very much to what is called Matthias Random Stuff channel there is a diagram how they need to be connected and we can see that the run and the start winding need to meet at a capacitor I just took a capacitor from the unit it was already onto the this thing and I have connected we can see this is the run the the start winding the red one is the start winding yeah the red one connected straight to the capacitor and the blue one connected straight to the capacitor. Can you see? This one from here straight to here and this one from here straight to here. And then this common, the common cable, it goes straight onto the cable here. Adjust this airplane so I can't. So, now we have the common goes to the cable and the run winding also goes to the cable. So now, we have this common cable goes from here through this switch protection and straight to the cable and here this one I didn't know which one is the correct one this prong or this prong so I just connected it to this one and I plugged it in and it runs perfectly fine if we uh, if we get it wrong it's not going to run so we'll just start it now and you can see it running and it's creating actually vacuum a very good vacuum actually is creating onto this part. So what I'm going to do now, I will just solder a connection here. And here it could be used as a, as a compressor as well. Very silent one. Um, but I need it as a vacuum pump. So that's how to wire a compressor. And we'll make it a vacuum pump in a second. And this is the inlet, you can see. I just soldered it into place, just like that. And now I'll get on the garage and I'll show it to you working. Connect it to the hose, to the gauge, to the air conditioning. And now we'll give it a start. Now I will 
open the the hole here so it starts vacuuming the system itself and um, I will just leave it vacuuming for as long as you can so um, it can get rid of all of the moisture now how deep vacuum is making I don't know because this thing here it's uh, it's not that accurate but it will do the job and I'm sure yeah, I'm sure it's uh, I'm sure it's good I hope this video is being helpful to you and if you need a vacuum pump you can make yourself one I'll see you on to the next one. Bye-bye.